COVID hospitalizations are climbing back up today across the state. 747 people are getting inpatient treatment. 189 of them are in the ICU. This comes as another 6,600 Utahns have tested positive for the virus. But if that number of cases sounds like it's down, it is by more than 50% from the all-time high we saw 11 days ago on January 14th. Yeah, but does that really mean the worst of this surge is behind us? So we had new special Sandra Adams dig it around for some answers and he got a handful from a surprising source tonight. Andrew? Well, remember, Mike, testing resources have essentially been maxed out or certainly taxed deeply. And so even health officials have suggested if you're feeling sick, stay home rather than be tested. So there is a little uncertainty. So we went to other places. We started with hospitals. The hospital said, well, you really should check back with the state. And the state said, you know what? You really should check with this guy. He's not a doctor on the front lines, and he doesn't oversee these lines. But he's great at sniffing out trends, even if it's from a place where no nose usually dares to wander. I am the manager of the wastewater surveillance program. Nathan LaCrosse acknowledges the irony that the nasty stuff that makes up raw sewage, the lagging indicator for the body, is now one of the earliest indicators of the pandemic. Not always, but quite frequently as an early indicator of changes to come. It starts by sampling for the virus RNA. It doesn't have to be intact viral particles. Most of it probably isn't. It's just kind of debris that's flowing through the sewage system. It ends up in data points. And those data points, like the sewage itself, Lacrosse says the results right now are mixed. There are a couple, and I do mean just a couple areas where they've been seeing some nice decrease in trends. Generally, he says urban areas appear to be increasing at a slower rate or even potentially plateauing. However, there are still quite a few areas across the state where we're seeing increasing trends, often very steep increasing trends that don't really show any signs yet of stopping. While LaCrosse says some of the sewage data now shows positive signs, that could change at any time. And the numbers overall continue to be very high. So we're not out of the woods yet by any stretch. Bottom line, he says definitely not the time to let up, as Utah hopes one day to swim out of the surge. It's tough, but we just got to, you know, push through it and keep ourselves and our friends and our family safe. Well, across says they track 32 different facilities across the state, representing about 88 percent of Utah's population. They sample twice a week and he encourages people, hey, if you want to look at the data for yourself, go to wastewatervirus.utah.gov. And you can see all the numbers and the breakouts. Back to you. All right. Great job flushing out all that data for us. Andrew, thank you.